what is best in life? Uh, well, we're uh, rejoining the uh, Zoroastrian Restoration, Episode 10, where I try to restore the Zoroastrianism to the Persian Empire and the Rajasthan Empire, where uh, Zoroastrians fled after the invasion of the Abbasids. And uh, now where more uh, Zoroastrians actually uh, reside in uh, current day, there are more in India than Persia. But that being said, I'm trying to restore Zoroastrian to Persia. And my first step on that way was to uh, secure the Emirate of Tabaristan around the south end of the Caspian Sea. And now I have, I can vassalize, uh, I can vassalize Dehistan. I have a claim on Galan, although I'm trying to wait till 798. I'll get the timer going here. 798 before I can exercise the claim. And I'm trying to develop a claim on Tabrizi with my chancellor doing good work. Uh, let's see here. Barad has been seen expressing his sense for organization whenever the opportunity has arisen. I am not even sure where he got his hands on an abacus, but he carries it around wherever he goes. The stars favor him. Uh, last episode, I cast a horoscope that uh, favored, I believe, stewardship for my youngest son. I uh, acquired a son and a daughter in the last episode, and now I need a concubine. And to admit that uh, before the game started, I checked Tabriz to see about going to war with him. Or no, not Tabriz. Yes, it was Tabriz about going to war to him, and I noticed that he had a, a fine... Oh, he had a concubine, but it is now no longer available, which is unfortunate. Was it Tabriz that had the concubine, or was it... Or was it this gentleman, the Count of Senyuk? Yes, an 18-year-old quick concubine who would accept, and now she will no longer accept because I am at war. Oh, that's right, there's an uprising, and I'm at war with her. So right now, we're on a, um, basically a doom run. I have cancer. My, I have cancer. My physician was able to successfully treat it, giving me, uh, plus three health, but that's only till 1797. I have a hunting dog, which grants me another health. Cancer is negative three health. I removed the stressed trait. Now, can I go to a scholarship focus? cannot change my focus till 1797, not for another year. Because I believed with all the stargazing I was doing, one of my uh, goals was to attempt to build an observatory. I thought you did that through the Hermetic Society and stargazing, but you actually do it through the scholarship focus. But I can't change that till 1797. And this is going to be 1797 when my uh, medical cure runs out. And in Galen, Galan, I will not be able until seven on October seventeen uh, seven ninety eight will I be able to exercise that without becoming a truce breaker. So that means I'll have to live a year past my cancer cure, which might not be possible. This might be a, a waste of time. Perhaps I should be attacking now. However, my because I'll lose my claim on Galan. If I die, it won't be passed to my son. But if not, I will wait until I can do that, which also gives my chancellor a chance in Tabrizi to uh, develop a claim. And by then, I should have enough money to hire mercenaries to win three wars in a row. And then that would be enough to secure my ownership of the de jure kingdom of de Lam. De Lam. Right now, I... Uh, only hold six, and I need nine of sixteen uh, holdings and two duchy titles. And Galan would allow me to usurp a duchy, so that would be two duchy titles. Titles, and Galan, Tabriz, and Dehistan, and then I would become king all in one character. But that is one year after my cancer diagnosis takes effect. And uh, that actually plays a uh, personal role because I myself uh, just had a growth removed from my skin and received news this week that uh, I would not be, that I did not have uh, cancer, which was good news indeed. 
thought I'd share it with you. Uh, the Slavic, the ancient Slavic re uh, religion is proving unable to withstand the onslaught of the cross and the moon. Rather than abandoning the old ways, Queen Semicha of Bulgaria and the most powerful priests have decided to reform the Slavic faith. Uh, they'll fight back against beliefs. Uh, that's perhaps, is that good news for me? Where's Bulgaria? Eh, it doesn't really... Uh, anything that weakens the Abbasids and makes it easier for me to break free of the Abbasids or survive their onslaught while I'm still part of them uh, is good for me. So is there anything? I don't have an active mission for the Hermetic Society. Dare I take on stargazing yet again? Uh, is there something else I could do? Right-clicking on my children to make horoscopes. I can right-click on myself convert to local religion. No. And my Mobad, with a good learning, is actually seeking to proselytize to uh, the county County religion converted 4.22% uh, yearly. That's better than it was. I'm not sure why it went from 1% to 4%. Uh, her bad Peraz uh, was introduced by a mutual friend and we talked for quite a while. We had our differences and a few arguments and we found common safe ground and I began to enjoy myself. Her bad Peraz seems to be like a decent, decent person. Uh, her bad and I become close friends. We become bitter rivals. A nice man, but I wouldn't want for a friend. No, I can use some friends. Let's become friends. So let's check the messages to see if I actually do. Uh, it didn't say whether the Herbad and I become friends. Oh, it wasn't uh, my Mobad. It was someone else. It was... I'm already best friends with the Sheik. And I really... Uh, it's kind of unusual in CK2. Do I dare stargaze again? Stargazing just costs money. And it costs prestige. And I believe... I have an upset vision. Upsetting vision. Endorse successful paper. Let's look in the intrigue panel and see if there's anything I can do. Shut the gates, falsely confess faith, invite some noblemen to court, compose a book, 115 gold. Oh, it's write a theorem paper, acquire ingredients. Well, I'll compose a book. It seems like a terrible waste of money. Uh, to compose a work of literature is not an undertaking for everyone. Having spent a lot of time thinking it over, I have summoned my closest advisors and fetched my best scribes. When they ask me what this book should be focused on, I pause, but only for a second. It should be about the intricacies of relationships relating to the diplomacy or intrigue, something in honor of Ahura Mazda, or something educational, something relating to learning, and chronicling a family history. Ah, uh, glory to the House of Jaws. You choose a theme not relating to any particular attribute. I will write about learning. That's a lot of money and probably not a wise decision, but I thought uh, it's worth uh, just doing it for the uh, sake of getting something interesting for this episode while we wait for 1798. And uh, while at it, I will write a theorem paper. Uh, due to my diplomacy skill, I... I feel the daunting task of researching and writing an entire theorem paper to be reviewed by my peers. To have it accepted by the order would be a great boon to me, but if the quality is found to be lacking, it might be a big blow to my prestige. Uh, I will make an extraordinary effort. No expense shall be spared. I can gain, lose 120 gold and 50 piety. I could get the stressed trait, which might kill me in my situation. I'll use my high diplomacy skill, and I will ask help from those around me and see how that goes. And uh, seeing as I can, it seems not to be interfering with acquire ingredients. So I will acquire ingredients and I will hunt for the most prized animal parts as well. So I'm not really accomplishing much as I wait to uh, see what uh, medical fate lies for me. And Together with a small band of hunters, Sharzad and I have set out to hunt animals in the forest in an attempt to gather animal parts. These ingredients will be invaluable in experiments to understanding the aspects of the world. I hope someone here knows how to take down a beast. Uh, I used to work, work for the National Park Service, which uh, some people don't realize, sort of with uh, a David Suzuki view of the environment, Park Service people are actually almost all hunters. Um, 
Let's see here. Known plots. I'll auto stop plots. Good. My spy master will try to stop plots in my kingdom. I'm a Zoroastrian. We should uh, keep things civilized. It's finished. Uh, my paper includes methods of the process which might enable the creation of a variety of exciting new alchemical elixirs. Now all that is left is to submit it to my hermetic peers for review. I will send it out at once. I don't see why you would destroy your paper. I, I don't understand why you would do that, but I will send out my paper and take the risk and uh, see if I gain any esoteric knowledge or such such thing. The forest is full of wild animals, even though are they elusive creatures, our cutting is more than enough to find their hiding places. Three animal part ingredients will be added to my inventory. Uh, oh great, I get an endorsement from the mayor of uh, Neopetra for my paper. Oh, and uh, Emir of Jabal, I don't know if I upset him or something. His opinion of me is only 17, which is not bad, but he uh, says not good enough. He refused my paper. And I get another endorsement from my uh, courtier and my former... Oh, she's my current apprentice, not my former apprentice. It's glad my apprentice approves it. Uh-oh, I'm at 50-50 uh, for endorsements and declines. And another endorsement, so that's 3-2. to two. Open council positions, marshal. Did my marshal die? My marshal wasn't that good to begin with. I have an ambitious marshal with the skill of 11. There we go. And where is my largest uh, retinue? Semnan. Where is Semnan? It's in Quivir. Uh, why is my Demesne Gurgan? I guess it's Lamsar. Success! Enough peers, uh, enough peers have endorsed my paper, and so the order has accepted it into its library. Uh, 75 prestige, learning plus 2, and 100 esoteric knowledge. My learning must not be plus... It's 39 for the realm, including my advisor, and 18 for myself. So as I uh, pass these final few years on Earth, I'm contributing something to learning. And I get a mission from the uh, Hermetic Society. I found the most fascinating phenomena, phenomena from observing the sky. I am of the firmest belief that the foundation of the cosmos is hiding out there. In order to reach higher knowledge, you should take my advice and study the skies thoroughly. So I'll observe the sky, which has proven to be a financial burden in the past. Uh, the instruments and tombs that I need to gather for my studies have arrived. Lenses of different shapes and sizes. Now I can carefully observe the sky, which gives me some monthly prestige boost, which, to be honest, I don't really need. I have enough to form the kingdom of Dalem. What I need to do is survive. It is October 797 when I lose my successful treatment, and then I will see if I perish from the earth in October. Uh, in the middle of the adjusting my new sextant, having just spotted what looked like a shooting star when there's a faint knock on my door. Opening it, I find my daughter, uh, Jamila, fidgeting nervously. Father, I can't sleep. Don't fret, child. I'll make you some broth from a gallbladder. Uh, I might gain the night owl effects. Uh, no, I have to keep going, looking at the stars. And did I gain anything from Night Owl? I gained it once. I'm not sure if you can gain it more than once. But I am getting plus uh, 0.1 prestige monthly. And then September come October 5th. Now, can I get treated for disease again? It doesn't say so. I can't seek treatment for disease, and my disease has already been treated once. Alright, so... Uh, well, in a meeting in council, I feel a headache. Uh, I could fire Sinna from council.
Uh, Sinna, I believe, is the best I have. Uh, no, I have one better, and it's the Herbad. And I could even go with Moose Jaws for one less. Uh, yes, I will do this, and I'll just see if my monthly prestige increases. Uh, it does to 15, for, to, or to 0.15 instead of to 15. No, I have to keep going, and now I have a council position to fill. Dangerous factions, gavel kind, stewardship. Uh, rumors are somebody's conspiring to kill me. That's not helpful. So I'll put my son on my council. And get him collecting taxes in Kazwin again, and hopefully getting my income up there. Now let me see if I can uh, known plots. How is my spy master? Is at 10, although he likes me. Can I get a better spy master? Uh, I can get a spy master at 13. A masterful schemer. Uh, I'm still stargazing, and I could fire yet another person, but no, I'll just take some anger. I've fired enough people. No, I'll keep going until my mission is over. I will uh, replace my spy master and get them to scheme. And I could go into hiding dangerous factions. That's, oh, this, uh, shh. The wife, oh, the husband has died, and now the wife is not as impressed with me as she could be. She's a title claimant, attraction to one hand, and she's envious. What if I just, uh, an Emir having a rival is so beneath me, it seems silly of me to hold him as a rival. Indeed, there is no point in this rivalry. I will let the rivalry fall. Now, can I just bribe her? 81. I'll award her an honorary title instead. So that will somewhat help, I hope, with the factionalism. Dining with my wife, the topic of research came up again. I told her that, of course, I regret any ill feelings. Uh, yes, I'll go out of touch and gain a little prestige gain, which is now point plus point two instead of point one. Perhaps it is time I conclude my research. I'm satisfied with the progress and conclude my research, letting my uh, mission come to an end. Although that's not my observed sky mission, and I didn't gain any, any esoteric knowledge. I find myself buried under an enormous heap of documents, copying my work desk, which I have carefully studied, yet there is still an absence of any observation about the specific light in the sky between two well star to well-known star formations. It will be named after my child, Gemala, which will increase her like her attraction to me and gain 200 esoteric knowledge. Diplomacy plus one. Uh, Herzog uh, will like me better. My wife will like me better. The star should bear its own name. Diplomacy one uh, completes a great mission. Uh, I'll try to get my wife. She might be the one trying to kill me, so I'll name it in my wife. Uh, the White Tiger. Lately, you have heard persistent rumors of the peasants and travelers and emerged that a mythical beast is sighted in your realm. It's a white tiger, powerful and elusive. I must send out people to find it. Yes. And I have 2,000 esoteric knowledge. The Warriors of Perun, the Slavic faith has been reformed. So the uh, Warriors of Perun have done, and I don't think that's going to affect me. They're fairly far away, although... So, and I will attempt to rank up in my uh, Hermetic Society after all this work I've done. Idle Council Member Spymaster. You shouldn't be idle. You should be scheming to keep me safe. And I have been advanced to the next... I'm a Magus in the uh, hierarchy. Does that mean I'm the head of it? No. I'm the Magus, and Sheikh Adnan is a Magus. Hmm. Remember, since May 1st, 1769, January 1st, 1769. All right, it's 768, so when is my claim on Galan? When is the Treaty of Galan? 798. Uh, October 798, I will declare war on, on the Emir 
and then we will be at war. Truces are expiring, 55 days left. Emir Ramadan of the Makit Empire, 45 days left. Good news, my lord, we have received credible reports of a recent sighting of the Great White Tiger in the county of Delam. Saddle my horse. Gosh, it would be fantastic to uh, get the hunting a tiger achievement in the same lifetime of this man who I think is on his last legs. October 5, 3, and the truce has expired. So I will go to Galan. And how many troops does he have? He has 1,400. He does have 290 gold pieces, so he's going to be uh, hiring mercenaries. Before I declare war, I'll choose my... Or actually, I'll wait to see how many mercenaries he hires, then I'll hire. Uh, claim Galan. Send. Now, I will raise my troops. I'll set a rally point. Raised. We'll start moving the nearest... I've never set a rally point before, so how does one do this? Quivir. There we go. So I'll set a rally point, and then the army levies I will raise. And so that's four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. That's twelve hundred, and I'll see how many he is able to raise. He's raised fourteen hundred. Instead of drilling the commanders, Aaron Spablood Kairza has been fighting them. There is truly a lack of discipline in my ranks. I lose 10 prestige. Get into... Uh, very well, I appoint a commander. Don't fight there. And I'm about to go out and do the great epic hunt. With a low chance of success, but some... Oh no, he's getting me uh, piecemeal. Okay, so I have to fire, hire some mercenaries. 300, 240, 175, 120. 175, 150. One forty. All right, I'll go for the 175 or the 150. Uh, they're light cavalry and... There we go. Oh, they showed up in Grigan. Come on. Actually, you stay there out of his way. And the series of wars is on. Uh, it starts with the defeat. Earl Jandhar the Great received a crushing blow to the head in battle and will not stir from his repose. What was I doing? In charge. Oh no. I never meant to be in charge. Oh. He was supposed to be Bidayan, Sinna, and Harzap. I'm incapable. Okay, so my son is my regent. Now let me linger on and maintain my claim. Oh, does this mean the war ends? I have a new heir. Er Emer Moosejaws is no longer Durek Pat to Sheikh Jandar. I have two pretenders, but Emer Moosejaws is now in charge. And I fulfilled the ambition to gain a title now can I still finish this war and make a claim I have recently come into possession of some manner of alch alchemical ingredients while I admit I'm intrigued the eyeball should definitely not be touched you I'm the emir and who am I talking to emir Jandahar the great oh uh, these things are bordering heresy all ingredients will be destroyed from the treasury, gain 25 piety and prestige. I really don't mind keeping them around. I have no use for... Uh, I'll keep them around. Now, where is he going? He's not moving anywhere.
So am I, I hope I still retain this claim. A son was born. Let's merge the armies. Now, holy captain of the Kuman Band is a great general. And Harzip, there we go. Now I will besiege Alamut. And I have to pick an ambition. And my vassal levies, my vassals sure don't like to be raised very long. I have, gosh, I don't have a council appointed. I have to appoint an entire new council. But I do have a good general for my army, and I am attacking Galan. All right, well, I'll uh, stop it there, and we'll uh, find out the outcome of the battle uh, for Alamut uh, next episode. Uh, that was the last of uh, the Emir. He survived his cancer, only to be recklessly thrown into battle by me, accidentally, to receive a blow on the head, uh, thus ending my desire, or my uh, run, to build a, both build an observatory and become king of the land in one character. So that's uh, the end of episode uh, 10, I believe. Yes, episode 10. If you in, uh, enjoyed the video, please consider hitting the subscribe button and the bell so that you hear about my other videos. Uh, have a nice day and thank you for your time.